London. London, 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 if you didn't know, I live quite near it, and it's probably my, one of my favourite places in the world. It's a cool place. It's not perfect, as of everything, but I love it for its imperfections. You know, you can't just love somewhere for just the good parts. It definitely has personality, and I missed it. I've missed it. It's uh, been ages since I've been up to London. Well, today, we took the journey during a pandemic. We went to London during a pandemic, and if you're watching this in the future, this is not unsafe. It's, you know, lockdown restrictions have changed. Meaning that this is perfectly fine. Thought we'd go to see London Zoo, a place I haven't been in absolutely forever. And it was an absolutely amazing day. So we're uh, just walking to the zoo now. I can't remember last time I was here, so I can already see a giraffe. Come on! Right. right, so in the zoo, they have these different arrows, pick different routes to go do different things. So they started out as normal, we got the tube and instantly I recognised the difference. The vibe was odd and basically everyone was on edge. Short trip on two trains and then a bus and we're there, we're at the zoo. Um, so London Zoo, if you don't know, is located basically inside Regent's Park. Obviously London Zoo is one of the oldest zoos in the world. It needs renovating quite a lot, it's much better than I remember. If you do end up in London, I definitely recommend going to London Zoo. It's, it's wonderful, it's a brilliant zoo, it really is. It more functions as research and conservation now, as a lot of this stuff is kind of behind the scenes. It's owned by ZSL, who also own Whipsnade. It's another place for conservation as well as rehabilitation, getting animals ready to go back into the wild. But in general, there's been a lot of changes. It really put me in a good mood. Things have been taken away since I lost there, so they no longer have an aquarium at London Zoo. And they've done a lot of advancements with the reptile house, as it's quite an old building. That's also where Harry Potter was filmed. And it's really well organised. There's also little paw prints by it each window and viewing area for the animals so everyone can stay two metres apart, very important. The rainforest house over the other side and the lemur walkthroughs weren't open, but I'm sure they'll be open up in the weeks to come. If you are going to London during a pandemic, uh, there's a lot of things you have to take into consideration. Personal space is definitely a big thing. Definitely keep your personal space, please. As well as masks on the underground and public transport in general around London. So um, that includes buses, taxis and tube and all the train lines. I kept mine on for the whole journey, as well as the stations. It's very important that you do that because it's very hard to social distance on the train, but you know, you have to try your best. And it was quite nice to see people doing the same thing. Obviously London was not as busy as it usually is, and you could see that in London Zoo. It was really lovely actually. Um, I've never seen it more empty, but also have guests there. It was like just the right amount. Signs everywhere, so you need to social distance as for like a city. It's very hard to, but nonetheless it is enforced and told upon people to do it. And mostly all the time people agreed. There was quite a lot of places open, obviously. This was two weeks ago, so th things might have changed, but this is the Tuesday after the 4th of July. 4th of July was when pubs and other places can start opening. So coffee shops were open, especially in Regent's Park, but still some stores weren't open and some stores decided not to open. Understandable, judging that it's a pandemic. But we stayed safe. Sanitizers everywhere, especially around the zoo. Now the butterfly house was open. It was really cool to go see. And also I had this little guy on my shoulder, which is super cute. 
Penguins. Yeah, I, I made I made a friend today. I'm very happy about that. Regent's Park is the central park of London. And that's what I call a hot take. So yeah, that was London during a pandemic as well as London Zoo. Very cool place. Please go and visit. But that about does it for today. Thank you for joining me. I'm sorry if I seem really tired. I am absolutely exhausted. I've had a long day. I still have a long day ahead of me. So I gotta keep pushing. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. As always, if you want to check out the other videos, make sure you check them out on the account down below. Hit subscribe if you want to, as well as like the video. Comment what you want to see next, and I'll see you tomorrow. Or have a good video. Right, see you lads. Uh, goodbye. Oh.